Now, we need to talk about the direction for torque. Class, what handy tool are we going to use to figure out the direction of torque? Right hand rule. Class, we'll try that again. What handy tool? Right the right hand rule. Step one? <laughs> Identify your right hand. Step two? Don't be too cool for the right hand Don't be too cool for the right hand rule. <laughs> Limber up. Limber. Emily X. Limber. <laughs> Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to walk through several examples of how to use the right hand rule to figure out directions. So they're all going to involve a basic concept of a door and I will identify the axis of rotation or where that door would turn. So, the way the right hand rule works is this. You start at the axis of rotation. You point your fingers along the lever arm. You curl your fingers in the direction of the force. And your thumb points in the direction of the torque, which in this particular case is into the board. And into the board is negative. So negative torque, this is into the board. Now, notice how this corresponds to what we would do for angular velocity because this force would actually cause this door to rotate in this direction, which if we were to curl our fingers in the direction of that, we would get an angular velocity that was into the board, or technically an angular acceleration that would be into the board. Okay? So notice how they both correspond with one another. Let's do another one. We keep our axis of rotation right here. We apply our force instead in this direction. What tell me about the torque in this particular case? Walk me through it, please. In? Um, so you start with the axis of rotation. Start at the axis of rotation. And then you point your fingers along the axis of rotation. Or this. Along what? The you start at the axis of rotation. The along the lever arm. And then you curl your fingers in the force. And? The thumb points out, which is uh, the torque being out. So this is a positive torque because out of the board is positive. All right. What if we do this? Now I'm going to move the axis of rotation to the far left of the board, and we are going to apply a force which is in this direction. Christine, walk me through it, please. Figure out the direction of this torque. because it is into the board. Great. Let's do a couple more here. Let's take and put our axis of rotation in the middle of the board, and we're going to apply a force in this direction. Hannah, please walk me through this one. So this is a positive torque, again, because it's out of the board. Now notice, these two force applies are pretty much in the same direction, right? But this one causes a positive, positive torque, this one causes a negative torque. So it all depends on where it is relative to the axis of rotation. What if we apply a force in that direction? Here, walk me through. 
try to start the axial rotation, point your fingers along the lever arm, then curl them slightly up the rope, and then inside the board of just positive piece of Positive what? Torque. Positive torque. Notice, these two forces are 180 degrees from one another, and yet they would both cause this object to rotate in this direction, which is out of the board and positive. I'm experimenting with different colors. We'll see how it goes. It's kind of fun. Ooh. What is the direction of the torque due to that force apply? both are going to give you a sign of that angle of being equal to zero. So the sign of 180 degrees is equal to zero. Therefore, the torque in this particular case is equal to zero. Now notice, if you try to use the right hand rule in this particular case, you start at the axis of rotation, point your fingers along the lever arm. We don't really have anywhere we can curl our fingers because it's in the same direction. So it doesn't really work. So at that point, you have to go back to the equation and realize that the angle is equal to zero or in some cases equal to 100. 